Hello internet allies, how you doing? So, it was my birthday last week and now I'm finally 29! <laughs> yeah, that, that might have been really cringe, but please don't click away, please, because I think I honestly had probably one of the best birthdays I have ever had last week and I'm really grateful for this. And today what I want to do is talk about how I experience birthdays as an autistic person and what advice I'd give to autistic people and loved ones of autistic people who wish to celebrate an autistic person's birthday. So think of this as my autism birthday survival guide. So here we go. <laughs> I think the biggest thing about making an autistic person's birthday or really anybody's birthday best it can be is clear communication both from the autistic person and the loved ones of autistic people who want to celebrate an autistic person's birthday. Some autistic people may love birthdays, they may love getting gifts, they may love celebrating with their friends and family, they may love having a party, they may love just doing lots of exciting things for your birthday, I'm definitely in that category. Some autistic people may hate birthdays because there's a lot of like change in routine, there can be like a lot of people around, there might be a lot of masking involved, there's like a lot of fuss that goes into birthdays as well, people might give an autistic person present they may not like, there's a lot of unpredictability around birthdays. I think something that definitely helps me to get the most out of my birthday is writing a list of presents that I might want, presents that my family might be able to get me, things I may want to do for my birthday, what food I want to eat, what people I want to involve. You know, you want to be around people who you're sure love you for who you are and those are the people that really matter to you. I will say for like an autistic person, I wouldn't necessarily say go so strict that like, you know, your friends need to buy things off the list. I feel like the list is probably just a guideline for like my family, personally. And I feel like this helps my family as well so that they can get things that, you know, they know I'll like. I feel comfortable in sort of knowing that my family are going to do their best to get me what I would like for my birthday. And I'm really, really grateful for that. This year for my birthday, leading up to my birthday, I wanted to see a few musicals with my sister and with my dad. <laughs> and while seeing these musicals, I was able to meet up with one of my TikTok friends for the first time, which was really, really nice and was able to do separate things with my best friends as well. I just met up with one of them for a coffee on my actual birthday and the day after my birthday me and my friend went to London to do some shopping. So you were able to like spread it out over a week or so or whatever. I think the bottom line is let the autistic person like lead the way when it comes to what they want to do for their birthday. Some autistic people may not like having gifts wrapped and for this I can kind of see their point like for me I, I find worry more about the sort of environmental aspect of things rather than having a having gifts wrapped if gifts aren't wrapped, I'm not too bothered. If they are, then that's fine. But some autistic people, they really don't like that mystery or unpredictability. They may just want to have a look at the presents, you know, to see what people have bought them and, and you know, and then get on with like enjoying their day, enjoying the presents, enjoying birthday cake, enjoying all the festivities that come with birthdays. <laughs> but even though like it's important for autistic people to like lead the way for their birthday, I do think that, you know, it's important to realise that, you know, we can't control everybody, we can't control everything. And I think, some, I know that sometimes a very, a very difficult thing for people to accept sometimes, but yeah, like sometimes there might be people who do wrap presents or do things in maybe the way that you may not want if they're like distant relatives or 
friends or whatever. They may wrap you a gift, they may get you something you don't want. But I think like what I think what's important is just focus on like focusing on like those positives of what the people you care about you and the people that you care about are doing for you for your birthday as well and just kind of being appreciative of what they've done and what they've got you and what they're doing for you for your birthday. I will say birthdays can feel a little bit intense sometimes as well so I think it's definitely important that you know say for example if an autistic person's having a birthday party or at a birthday party then maybe it would be a good idea to have like a quiet space at the birthday party whether that's at like at home or at someone else's house or somewhere else you know making sure that it, they know it's like okay to have quiet times or whatever to you know recharge and you know do what they need to do to relax I think this will help the day feel a bit less like overwhelming a bit less you know stressful for an autistic person because having a lot of people show you a lot of love and attention is lovely but it can feel quite intense sometimes so it's important to have that space sometimes if I need it or if an autistic person needs it and I'm kind of grateful that you know I was able to do that on my actual birthday as well there were times where things were a bit quieter and I'm really grateful for that because I think just having things like 100 miles an hour all the time is a lot for really anybody to be honest it does scare me a little bit getting older I mean I think I was a little bit anxious this year especially because it was like oh Lodge, it was like the last year of my 20s now and yeah that feeling of getting older but feeling a little bit behind in life at the same time that was quite scary for me but I feel like I've come to terms with it I feel and I feel like I'm a lot more accepting of it if that makes sense now that it's happened I think when things like when things are leading up to something like big like that like an anniversary or something like that or of something happening like a birthday like Valentine's Day I can feel a little bit like you know anxious about that feeling like you know feeling a little bit behind but actually you know once those events have passed I do kind of feel like I come to terms with things and accept things and whatnot. I don't like putting time frames on things, so so there is that. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this or found this somewhat useful. Um, please let me know what other autism survival tips you have for birthdays in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day until then. Thank you. Bye. Bye.